Good morning, all. Should we wait for one more minute for the all students to enter? I think they will. No, we eleven are there. So, one more minute we will give. Right at fifty-eight, we will start the class. Four minutes are enough for everybody's entry. No. Abu, write it in write in your WhatsApp group also to attend the class. जो भी बच्चे आ गए हैं कैन यू इफ देर इज एनी क्वेरी फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास यू कैन आस्क इफ एनी क्वेरी इज देर फ्रॉम द पेपर मेकिंग प्रोसेस एनी थिंग इट वॉज क्लियर टू एवरीबडी respond respond was that clear okay no query likhna cha rahe ho abu ya keh rahe ho ki you did not get anything <laughs> because you don't know ma'am no <laughs> okay no questions fine so as it is 58 now we should start today's topic next topic in this course of forest products we have rayon right so today we will study about the rayon process now as we are studying wood products so it is very clear that rayon a fabric you can see here right this fiber we are going to get from wood also right it is isn't it very interesting that from the wood normally itni badi badi cheeze hum dekhte hain but we can make fiber also from wood how we can make fiber which particular constituent of wood we use that is cellulose cellulose is the one because of which we are getting paper and because of the cellulose present in the wood we can make rayon also from it right now let us start with it first of all we should understand few basic information on it right so about the history of rayon when and how it has started so we will start from here see in 1880s around one frenchman count hilary de chardonnet he was he is named as father of and he was the person who discovered rayon right but interesting thing here is in 1880 though rayon was discovered but the use of rayon it has uh, come into very common purpose around 1920s and in 1924 this regenerated cellulose fiber was named as rayon jo aaj hum sab log use karte hain term right so this rayon term it was coined in 1924 around 44 40 44 years after its discovery right so we are before that it was just known as it is one of the semi synthetic fiber it is regenerated cellulose fiber the term in 1924 so how this frenchman mr or the count hilary he discovered it 
what he did he has used nitrocellulose from the rags or the wood pulp right that nitrocellulose he used it he reacted it with ether and alcohol and then it is turned into fiber how it is turned into fiber when this solution was forced through a group of tiny holes in the spinneret the solution of nitrocellulose from the rags or wood pulp he has taken he has added ether and alcohol in it and then this solution was passed through the holes of spinneret and ultimately the fiber that is named as regenerated cellulose fiber and today commonly we call it as a rayon it has been made right so thereafter what happens with it now very interesting factor about the rayon is it was the first manufactured fiber right first manufactured fiber fiber that was not present in nature but human has made it it is manufactured fiber but it is not called as truly synthetic fiber right it is not named as truly synthetic fiber but it is semi synthetic fiber now why we call it as semi synthetic fiber we call it as semi synthetic fiber because it is derived from the cellulose cellulose is a natural matter that we are getting right this cellulose is present in the nature and from the cellulose because we have synthesized the rayon so it is named as semi synthetic it is not considered as true synthetic however it is the first man made fiber it is the first manufactured fiber koi mujhe yahan par bata sakta hai can you name any synthetic fiber any synthetic fiber we are saying it is first manufactured fiber or first synthesized fiber it is not natural fiber so can you name any synthetic fiber anyone mona lisa willy v yeah jute willy v jute fiber is natural fiber right good jute you wrote but it is natural fiber very good mona lisa it is nylon polyester these are the yes yes very good ogam now willy v also got it polyester very good nylon and polyester these are the synthetic fibers jo normally hum log use karte hain bahut sari jagah mein and also acrylic yes very good acrylic is also one of the synthetic fiber so rayon is man made but it is semi synthetic right because it is derived from the cellulose naturally occurring cellulose fine so it is semi synthetic this must be clear in your mind that why it is semi synthetic why not synthetic now by 21st century if we say the producer of the rayon then india is the largest manufacturer right india is the largest manufacturer and in india sabne suna hoga na grasim suitings ads aate hain khub so grasim is a company that is the largest producer of or manufacturer of rayon and around 24% of front, the rayon in left, the world front, it is from right, the front, grasim left, of india front, right right 24% rayon india solely the grasim it produces it it manufactures it and then besides this there are other countries also like germany front, brazil left. austria china canada front, laos front, us front, 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 these right, are right, also right, the countries front, where left. rayon is manufactured right so it is about brief idea about the rayon now we will move to the front, species front, left, those left, are front, used front, for right, the rayon right. grade pulp as we are saying it is a wood based product so what are the species those we can use for making rayon grade pulp so bamboos hardwoods reeds and softwood in all these front, categories front, left, have front, a, uh, right. such species those can be front, used for making right. the rayon grade pulp like bamboos are on dinesia dendrocalamus strictus right. right. these are right. among all right. these front, categories front, bamboos left, front, are the left, mostly front, used front, left, species left. for the rayon grade pulp 
right? Bamboos, mostly they right. are used for right. this purpose. Then among the hardwood, Boswellia cirrhata, eucalyptus species, Acacia mollissima. These are the wood right. species for right. the rayon grid pulping. Among the reeds, Oclendra trevenicoria. Then the softwood, Picea morinda, as well as AB spindro. Right? These are the species. Now, among all these species, as I told you, bamboos are mostly used the purpose. Fine. Then in the hardwood, Boswellia serrata, we said. I just want to ask you with Boswellia serrata, as see graduates in forestry, you all are no. So you all have studied about mm, non-timber forest products also. MEP is also you have studied. So can you tell me anything important about Boswellia serrata? It is one of the important medicinal species. Boswellia serrata. Koi idea? Ya bhool gaye ho, to chalo, let me tell you. You can see here, it is the picture of Boswellia serrata. Boswellia serrata, uh, aapne bohut, uh, agar Patanjali or aise kuch Ayurvedic medicines, if you uh, ever used or anybody uses in your house, you must have seen Google is written there in one, uh, some Google based medicines are there. Google actually is Boswellia serrata's extract, right? And that is good for the osteoarthritis related situations. So this particular species can be used for that as well. However, other uses, we know every tree species has its other uses, but you can use them for the rayon grade pulp as well. However, mind it that bamboos are mostly used. Right, bamboos are mostly used. So rayon grade pulp can be made out of many species, but mainly bamboos is kele use kiya jata hai. Now, here you can see this flow chart is showing you the process of rayon making. Just give me a moment. Yeah. So here you can see this flow chart, right? These are the various steps of in manufacturing of rayon, right? Steeping is the first step, then shredding, aging, xanthation, dissolving, filtration, ripening, spinning, washing, and finally bleaching. These are the different steps in which following all these steps, you will be able to make the rayon. Right now, one by one, however, we will discuss all these steps. But here in this flow chart, slight idea about it about the steeping. First step is the steeping in it. What you need to do, you have to prepare the pulp first of all. And pulp, how we can make rayon pulp, we have already studied in the paper making process, right? And then this pulp need to be added with the caustic soda. Right, caustic soda ke saath, when we will react it, what will happen? Leaching of hemicellulose will be there because in the pulp we have hemicellulose present along with the cellulose. So here hemicellulose need to be leached out, and because pulp is added with the caustic soda, so what you will get will be the alkali cellulose. You will get alkaline solution, right? Solution, alkaline solution kise kehte hain? Where pH is more than 7, right? Base solution will be prepared. So that will be the alkaline cellulose you will get. Then after getting this alkaline cellulose, what you need to do, it will be in a sheet kind. You have to loosen the fibers. You have to make the fibers fluffy. You have to separate the fiber and also you have to reduce their sizes. Then for that purpose, we go for the shredding. In shredding at specific temperature, we will do the loosening of the fiber and breadcrumb kind of fiber then cellulose you will get. Thereafter, we keep it for resting. Why we keep it for resting? During the resting, it undergoes changes. The protein related things, whatever are present there, they will change. Their molecular weight will be changed there will be certain modifications during resting and the molecular weight will go down then comes very important step that is xanthation right during xanthation what happens here we will get cellulose xanthate certain reactions will take place here at certain temperature for two three hours what we will get is the cellulose xanthate 
Now, why cellulose xanthate is important? Because cellulose xanthate will have property to convert into viscose, right? So, until unless viscose will be will not be prepared, we will not be able to make the fiber out of cellulose. So, for that, cellulose xanthate need to be prepared, and the cellulose xanthate thereafter will be dissolved to make viscose, right? After making viscose then we have to filter it to remove any dirt then we will keep it we can store it for some time in the tanks and thereafter we have to make filament that will be called as rayon filament from this viscose that we have made and that will be named as spinning right and thereafter washing will be done as uh, many chemicals we have been used so we have to wash it we have to dry it. Mona Lisa, we will come to that beta. You are asking what is viscose? We will come to that, right? Viscose is actually a solution that we make with the cellulose xanthate and the caustic soda. That solution is named as viscose, right? It is viscous. That is why its name is viscose. It is not that flowy kind, no? So we call it as viscose. And then that viscose is important because when it will be viscous solution, then we will be able to get filament of rayon during the spinning process. And when we get filament, then we have to wash it, dry it, desulfurize it, and ultimately to give it brighter color, to give it whiter color, we have to bleach it, right? And with it, we will get our final product. So these are the various steps in the viscose rayon process. And this process as here viscose we need to make. So rayon process is also named as viscose rayon process. Fine. Now, one by one, before going to discuss it one by one, I would like to show you all this in one picture. Right. So, so that those small devices should be should get fixed in your mind as if, uh, right now we are not able to go to the industries to show it. So here via pictures, you can see it like there will be a tank in which we will put see caustic soda and cellulose and like this, we will get the sheets of cellulose. Then there will be a shredder in the shredder. We will cut them into pieces right then churning mixing of the solutions then viscose will be formed and then finally after uh, making viscose it we used to send uh, put it in the storage thereafter we make filament out of it right so these are the small machines those you can see shredders machines but in industry definitely they are the bigger one and whole of the material it is not like uh, everything, as I told you, in the paper industry, everything is pipelined, right? We need not to touch anything else. From one system, it moves to the another through the interconnection. So same is here also, right? All these will be interconnected and it will keep on moving. After completing one step, it will move to the another machine. Then when step in machine will be completed, it will move to the another machine or another tank, right? So like this, we can get the fiber, the rayon in our hand. Now, one by one in detail, if these processes we say, first process we said is the steeping. Now, what we do in the steeping? First of all, we have to be ready with the pulp, right? Pulping, you know how we can do. And okay, chalo, pulping to aapko pata hai. Now, can you, anybody tell me what is pulp? as we have already studied it. So tell me what is pulp? Very quickly, do not Google. Tell me what is pulp? Uh, Bita, I'm not able to hear you clearly. Abu? Mona Lisa, Willy V, Abu, everyone is typing. Abu, you can use mic. Abhi tum bol rahe the, no? Lignocellulosic fibrous material. Very good. 
pulp is basically wood pulp that we get it is lignocellulosic fiber material or simply we can say when wood fibers we treat them with chemicals or maybe mechanically then the fibrous fiber material that we get it is the pulp right yes pulp is crude fiber material is written by willivy also it is correct so i hope sabko jisko nahi yaad aaya you must have got it now what is pulp okay pulp is a crude fiber material that we get from the cellulosic raw material or we can say it is lignocellulosic fibrous raw material fine now the pulp that we get from the wood it may be any of the wood that we have talked about right so from the wood when you get the pulp this pulp need to be soaked for 2 hours in 17 to 18% caustic soda it is naoh right so in naoh that should be 17 to 18% 17 to 18% caustic soda ka kya matlab hai if you have 1 liter of solution then in that 1 liter of solution 17 to 18% will be the caustic soda and rest will be the water right so 17 to 18% caustic soda the solution you have to make and then pulp should be soaked in it for that there is quantity also recommended that 15 kg of caustic soda should be used for 1 kg of pulp so 1 is to 15 is the ratio of pulp and caustic soda right pulp need to be soaked there now as i told you why we do the steeping we want leaching out of the hemicellulose we want to remove hemicellulose from it because for the fiber making what we require is the cellulose so the hemicellulose that is soluble in caustic soda it will leach out clear here hemicellulose is soluble in caustic soda it but not the cellulose that is why we have used caustic soda so caustic soda will uh leach will take hemicellulose with it and cellulose will remain there only right and whenever within 2 hours the reaction will be completed and the batch is ready for discharge from the steeping tank in the tank where we are doing this process where we have kept the pulp for the removal of hemicellulose after this it need to be removed from there so how we will discharge it before discharging it should be squeezed properly right it should be squeezed so that whatever caustic soda excess caustic soda that is been absorbed it should be removed so by squeezing it will be removed and then normally the weight has to be brought down to approximately 3 times of its original weight right so definitely the caustic soda when we will remove from it by squeezing the weight will be reduced and here at this point after the completion of the reaction right for 2 hours when reaction will takes place all the hemicellulose is dissolved with naoh or the caustic soda what is left there the cellulose is there with along with caustic soda is present right so the cellulose after treating with caustic soda is named as alkali cellulose right here we call it as alkali cellulose so alkali cellulose why we are saying alkali because when alkali hum kise kehte hain when any base is dissolved in water right so normally iska as it is base we are saying so ph will be more than 7 right to so, koi bhi base like sodium hydroxide that we have used here or say calcium hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide if these bases we will dissolve them in water then what we will get the solution is named as alkali solution right basic solution higher ph is higher than more than 7 so because of it as a sodium hydroxide or caustic soda is used here so this solute this cellulose is now named as alkali cellulose right so alkali cellulose aisa nahi sochna kyunki we are not you see chemistry students nahi hai we are forestry students so all these small things do not get confused with them these are simple things that is why i am explaining you alkali cellulose nothing but because alkali this solution is become alkaline so we are naming it as alkali cellulose 
right just because of the presence of caustic soda i hope it is clear to everyone is it okay yeah just let me start a poll it will also let me know how many of you are active there no yeah if it is clear then kindly respond yeah quickly quickly then we will move where are the rest eight dennis mario sohel ogam sandhya robinson your responses are okay robinson used to say uske yahan thoda signal problem used to be there all right so 73% are saying they have got 0% are saying no so i hope everybody has got it right now uh for dennis sohail ogam sandhya and robinson i hope you are there you can listen so now next step will be the shredding what we have got we have got the alkali cellulose in a sheet form right in this picture i have shown you yaad hai aapko here see while squeezing it we will get it in a form of sheet right and then this sheet we will send to the shredder right so alkali cellulose now will send to the shredder the equipment that we use for the shredding process is the shredder robinson did not get it robinson what did not you uh, you tell me at which point you have problem robinson if you can listen robinson i think he has really great network issue so the alkali cellulose that we have got in the steeping process step we have to now reduce the size of that alkali cellulose sheet right so what we will do we will send these alkali cellulose sheets into the shredder right when we will send it into the shredder it will get fluffy like the bread crumbs i hope you can see it here in the picture right it will be now the fibers will be loosen it will be fluffy right so those fluffed fibers they are now they will look like a bread crumbs and that we do in the shredder shredder mein grinding nahi ho raha mind it it is not a grinding process but the objective of shredding is loosening and the fluffing up of the fibers we have to loosen up the fibers those we got in a form of sheet right so that we will do in the shredder the length of the fiber will retain length of the fiber will not be reduced fine so what we need to do here simply we need to put it in shredder and here loosening and fluffing up of the fiber will be done and the temperature that is recommended for this process is 18 to 20 degree celsius right in 18 to 20 degree celsius temperature in shredder you have to do this process thereafter we will put it for the aging so next step after steeping then shredding then next step is the aging now the shredded alkali cellulose is kept in a temperature controlled aging room just in a tank it will be kept there right for the rest it will rest there and when cellulose rest there its molecular structure will undergo a change normally there will be reduction in the molecular weight right molecular weight of the alkali cellulose it will be reduced and generally it is reduced by the factor of 2 to 3 that much weight will be reduced and then when aging will be completed then after some time we will put it for the next step that is named as xanthation xanthation is done in a machine that is named as churn that also i have shown you in the picture right xanthation will be done in a churn now this step is named as xanthation because the alkali cellulose will be converted into cellulose xanthate 
how it will be converted into cellulose xanthate the alkali cellulose will be treated with carbon disulfide for 2 to 3 hours at 20 to 35 degree celsius temperature so here what we are doing in xanthation the altered alkali cellulose will be treated with carbon disulfide and within 2 to 3 hours at 20 to 35 degree celsius temperature alkali cellulose will be converted into cellulose xanthate right it will convert into cellulose xanthate so we call it as a xanthation and the machine that is used for it is named as churn after this the cellulose xanthate that we have got it is again dissolved in dilute caustic soda solution now mind it initially also we have what we have done cellulose was dissolved with the caustic soda and here after the xanthation process again cellulose xanthate we are dissolving it into dilute caustic soda solution okay now this cellulose xanthate it will slowly dissolve in caustic soda okay now i hope it is clear to you that we said in caustic soda initially hemicellulose is dissolved in it but not the cellulose now what we have done we have treated the cellulose and we have got cellulose xanthate and this cellulose xanthate can be dissolved in the caustic soda now that is why we need to convert it now this cellulose xanthate it slowly dissolved in the caustic soda and what you will get is the viscose right this step to get the viscose we have to make to you now as you asked what is viscose fine so viscose is a chemical compound it has cellulose in from it we can make yarn we can make thread we can make fiber out of it now so it is named as viscose fine so process mein kya hua see again quick recap hum karte hain sabse pehle we had pulp so we have added caustic soda in it and then caustic soda ne kya kiya initially hemicellulose get dissolved and separated now only cellulose we have right but ultimately what we want we want that cellulose should also be dissolved in some base solutions right so what we have done we have cellulose in the cellulose xanthate and now cellulose xanthate can be dissolved in the caustic soda and when slowly that the reaction will go on and what we will get we will get a viscous solution that viscous solution is named as viscose and this cellulose containing solution is ready from it we can make the fibers we can take out the fibers all right then after this as we have got the viscose so it is very important to filter it right as in wood Uh, in paper making also filtration i said one of the important step as well because if we will not do the filtration the continuity will break same is here right so we have to filter the viscose that we have made so that any undissolved particle of cellulose or any foreign material that can be removed because if this undissolved particle of cellulose or any foreign matter if it will not be removed then what will help happen it may coagulate sorry it may block the spinneret tiny holes so it is very important that we need to remove anything that is undissolved in it right so it will be filtered and after filtration then this we need to keep for ripening for some time we have to keep it under some constant temperature in large tanks it need to be stored right right why we need to store it so that slowly it may get coagulate 
coagulation will be there so its viscosity will increase and properly we can get the fiber from it so when we are storing it for the coagulation we call that step as a ripening okay and after ripening then very major step ripening will come this major step sabse bada step kya hai spinning ka for the spinning what is the requirement number 1 very important is the spinning bath right spinning ke liye aapko kya karna hai sabse pehle one has to prepare spinning bath ab spinning bath hota kya hai that i will tell you before that you should understand what all chemicals we need to add in the spinning bath right why we require spinning bath that i will tell you now first of all for the spinning what you need to make see here it is about the filter i wrote all this so that you can take it and you can study um, you know whole presentation i will give you you can uh, read all these it is just about the filtering that filter that we do candel filter can be used for the removal of any particle any any uh, undissolved particle it is that now spinning bath in spinning process why before starting it one need to prepare spinning bath now what is is it is having warm water warm water 40 to 45 degree celsius this warm water should have sulfuric acid around 10% sodium sulfate around 21% about 1% of zinc sulfate and 4 to 10% of glucose this spinning bath is very very important right so the spinning bath consists of all these things warm water should be there this warm water 40 to 45 degree celsius it should have 8 to 10% of sulfuric acid 13 to 21% of sodium sulfate 1% of zinc sulfate and 4 to 10% of glucose right ise hum bolte hain spinning bath now what is the importance of it why we are making it actually when we have prepared the viscose right this viscose if we want to convert it into fiber then what is required it should coagulate and it should make a thread that is our requirement for that to coagulate it to accelerate its coagulation what we need to do we have to pass the viscose through this spinning bath when viscose will go through the this chemical solution that is named as spinning bath then it will coagulate right then it will coagulate and we will get a thread fine this is the thing that is why spinning bath is very important agar aap bina spinning bath ke sochoge we should pass it through the viscose and directly we will get the thread it will not happen what we need to do we have to prepare spinning bath with water sulfuric acid sodium sulfate zinc sulfate and glucose and through spinning bath we have to pass our viscose and when viscose will meet this chemical solution in spinning machine it will coagulate right it will get coagulate ye kya hoga jam jayega then we will get the fiber fine so the neutralization of caustic soda in the viscose by the acid in the bath results in the breakdown of cellulose xanthate and it precipitate it it increases the precipitation of regenerated cellulose this is the chemistry it happens that is why we call it as regenerated cellulose right ho kya raha hai it is if you will see sulfuric acid sodium sulfate zinc sulfate all these are the it is acidic solution the spinning bath that we are making is acidic solution now what we need to do through this acidic solution our alkaline solution that we have made right alkaline solution viscose is alkaline solution because caustic soda is there right so that alkaline solution that basic solution when it will pass by this acidic solution or the spinning bath what will happen the acid and the base they will neutralize each other when they will be neutralized then the cellulose xanthate that was prepared it will break down into the 
सेल्यूलोज एंड दिस सेल्यूलोज इज रीजेनरेटेड दोबारा हमने जनरेट किया है राइट सो दिस रीजेनरेटेड सेल्यूलोज विल प्रेसिपिटेट एंड वी विल गेट फाइबर राइट दिस इज द साइंस हियर वट इज द साइंस बेसिक सोल्यूशन इज मीटिंग एसिडिक सोल्यूशन एंड बोथ आर न्यूट्रलाइजिंग दैट सेल्यूलोज एन थे दैट वी हैव गॉट इट विल ब्रेक डाउन इन टू री सेल्यूलोज रीजेनरेटेड सेल्यूलोज वी विल गेट एंड दैट विल फॉर्म द फिलामेंट ओके इज दिस क्लियर इज दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इज क्लियर टू एवरीबडी yeah tell me is it clear to everyone it is important in its process right okay okay fine that's good so here after this the thread formation will start fine so all this will happen kahan pe hoga here it is a tank fine in this tank there are there is you can see this particular this particular thing ye kya hai it is spinneret spinneret fine it is a spinneret and from here your alkali solution come right aap yahan se apna alkali solution you will send here and in this tank there is the presence of acid right yahan pe kya hai acid hai spinneret samajh rahe na aap log you can see here right here also many tiny holes are here through these holes as through this pipe you will send the alkali solution alkastic soda and cellulose xanthate wala right that when you will send here that solution will come out through these tiny holes when it will come out through these tiny holes acid is already present here this acid bath is present here that we have made fine and then from here what will happen when it will come out and it will be in contact with the acid bath or this acidic solution immediately reaction will takes place cellulose xanthate will break into the precipitate it will precipitate into regenerated cellulose so filament kind red and these filament will be then directed towards the outside for further processing fine i hope it is clear from this picture how it works through the spinneret what will come out acidic solution right and then from sorry basic solution and then from here it will come in contact with acid and through these tiny hole those those you will again immediately at this point you will start getting the fibers as soon as it will get reacted fiber will be formed and those filaments they will then go out fine so like this we get this fiber from the viscose the rayon filament from the viscose we will get so spinning is a, is a major step that is why we say at step we get rayon filament from the viscose solution that we have made right after this then the yarn that we have got it need to be washed then it need to be dried and also it need to be desulfurized desulfurize kyun karna hai because we have passed it through the sulfur solution right so it need to be desulfurized desulfurization will be important number 1 it will uh, reduce the environmental pollution it will also give better color to it right so we need to desulfurize it and that will be in the washing for the washing there are again washing tanks used to be there in the industry and all the yarn all the filaments they will go there they will be they will here in this picture you can see right they will be they will be sent to those uh, the tanks if they are there for the for the washing washing will be done then further they can move to the send to the wheels and the spinning and all that can be done fine so washing ke baad aapko washing kiya drying kiya both need to be done after washing drying desulfurizing you have to bleach it because it is passed to the uh, this uh, solution acidic solution also uh, in we know this thing that when pulp we treat it used to get pale color 
right so we need to give it brighter color to the yarn for that to remove its dull yellowish color to obtain pure white yarn you have to bleach it it is very common everybody know that by bleaching we can get the lighter color so we can remove this dull yellowish color and we will bleach it with hypochlorite solution and then you will get the brighter color right so after bleaching we need to again wash it and dry it राइट ब्लीच करके यू ही नहीं छोड़ना है बिकॉज हाइपोक्लोराइड सोल्यूशन से हम इसे पास कर रहे हैं दैट इज वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू वॉश इट एंड टू ड्राई इट आफ्टर वॉशिंग एंड ड्राइंग फाइनली वट यू विल गेट विल बी दान विल बी द फिलामेंट राइट एंड दैट रे ऑन फिलामेंट ओके बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक आई शुड टेल यू अबाउट राइट सो वेन you have done it thereafter you may make different type of yarns from it right so basically however in detail different type of yarns that we get from the rayon different quality yarns that we will study in another class today basic basically i would like to tell you that two type of yarns we can make from it on the basis of how many filaments we are using to make a fiber right so for that here basically two type of yarns we get that is extruded from the spinneret number one is the mono filament yarn another is multi filament yarn now mono filament mono ka matlab kya hota hai one we all know mono means one so if the solution is extruded from the spinneret with only one hole right yahan pe humne jo dekha tha na Uh, spinneret i have shown you it has so many holes right many holes are there but if this spinneret will have only one hole and only one thin layer of this solution this viscose will come out then only one filament will be formed right and from that single filament the yarn that we will make is named as mono filament means single filament is used there so that mono filament yarn is used for hosiery hosiery clothes you all must have used right so hosiery clothes are made up of mono filament yarn of the viscose fine and then the rayon jo se banega that is named as mono filament so mono filament how we will get when spinneret will have only one hole mind it mono one then multi filament yarn is another multi filament yarn multi more than one fine so when the spinneret will have more than one holes then more than one filament will be produced in acid bath when it will come well more than one filament will be produced and these filament will be twisted together and when they will twist it together then you will get multi filament yarn right multi filament yarns when you will get then that will be the another type of yarn that we get from the rayon and these multi filament yarns they are used for shears jo transparent kai baar aap log dekhte na hum log aajkal bahut zyada use hote hain transparent curtains used to be used there right or so uh shears basically are made up of multi filament yarn means very thin filament many thin filament used and twisted to form a single thread and that particular one is used for the shear purpose most of the time right so shear ke liye basically ise use kiya jata hai so mono filament yarn ka use kahan pe hai hosiery mein multi filament ya yarns they will be used for the shear purpose fine so these two type of yarns we can get on the basis of the type of spinneret we are using single hole spinneret or multiple hole spinneret so we will have these different type of yarns from it fine so it is all about the process of making rayon out of wood pulp wood based pulp samajh mein aaya sabko is it clear is it clear to everyone or any question is there before going to its characteristic i would like to know whether you have got you understood the process or not if any step is confusing you can ask clear ma'am okay monalisa that's great ogam 
abu that's great so if it is clear to everyone we can move forward right and there also that's good what about others four said clear is there robinson robinson can you hear me robinson was saying he had some issues okay okay yes robinson you tell me you said you did not get something if due to your network issues you did not get anything you can ask i will explain yes robinson yeah tell me ask me okay you have you understood what is the meaning of okay ma'am you got everything or do you want me to explain anything else for you again yes robinson again he has got some problem it seems okay fine um yeah he's writing till then uh, let him write his question we can move to the next section as we have got the process of making rayon right now we understood that why we call it as regenerated cellulosic fiber because here we are changing the cellulose from cellulose to cellulose xanthate then again from that we are regenerating the cellulose we are making again cellulose and then we are making fiber out of it so it is regenerated cellulose fiber okay now what are the and that is why it is not uh, completely synthesized okay so we call it as semi synthesized fiber it is not uh, though it is man made but it is not completely synthesized then characteristics of rayon fabric this is another important thing right rayon fabric that we have what are its characters that we must know so first thing rayon fabrics composition if we say it is composed of cellulose very well known now its strength if we say so considerably strong and durable considerably strong and durable right important thing and regular rayon is stronger than wool but yes it is weaker than the cotton right it is weaker than cotton however but stronger than the wool then another thing is also its strength varies according to the moisture content in it when it is wet then it is more weak right when it is wet then it is even more weak um do you have any idea about you have any rayon cloth bata sakta hai koi any rayon cloth girls ke paas to even bahut honge nowadays many 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 things they are made up of rayon handkerchief se lekar kurta pajama everything we get from the rayon right so kabhi try karna if you will uh, you put rayon in water number 1 it will become heavier you will feel it thicker but that time it will be more weaker you just put your fingers agar tightly usme rakh kar if you will try to stretch it you will find that it will be it may tear at that particular point right so whenever it is uh, wet it becomes even more weak this is its strength among its strength property hwm rayon are stronger as cotton hwm ka full form hota hai high wet modulus right hwm is high wet modulus the rayon when as i told you i will tell you about different types of rayons in that we will study about high wet modulus rayon right high wet modulus rayon is made in such a manner so that this weakness while it is wet that can be reduced so those the rayon that is hwm high wet modulus modulus rayon will be there if it is stronger than the cotton 
ठीक है सो इट्स स्ट्रेंथ इट डिपेंड्स इन जनरल इट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड ड्यूरेबल राइट वाई इट इज ड्यूरेबल यू विल गेट टू नो इट इट कैन नॉट बी अटैक बाय द इंसेक्ट्स इजीली राइट इंसेक्ट्स इसे पसंद नहीं करते हैं सो ऑटोमेटिकली इट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज इट्स ड्यूरेबिलिटी नाउ इलास्टिसिटी इफ वी से इट सो इलास्टिसिटी आल्सो रिड्यूसेस व्हेन इट इज वेट ओके नाउ रेजिलियंस rayon creases radially as it lacks the natural resilience of wool and silk so in general we can say fiber wrinkles easily right rayon ka koi bhi cloth hai very easily it gets wrinkled but another thing is good with it that it is Front, good conductor right. of heat so whenever if wrinkles are there you Front, can easily right. remove those Front, wrinkles also left. by ironing it very easily you can do that but if in general we say about its resilience that then natural resilience is less than the wool and silk so the fabric that will be made by it it will wrinkle easily drapeability if we say it is very good in the draping as it has heavy weight so uh, because we have used coarse filaments for making it so it is heavy weight and it drapes well it has good fall so it drapes well right heat conductivity if we say it is good conductor of heat and that is why it is good for the summer right however uh, you can also wear it during the winter in it another category of rayon you can make and then that can be wear in winters as well it is not like only in summer so it is a fabric that can be that can be worn during winters as well as summers right so you can use it in all the seasons we can say absorbency if we say it is extremely absorbent right absorbent extremely absorbent uh again strength as we said it will be less when it is wet it absorbs lot of water in it cleanliness and washability if we say because fabric we are using so all these are important characters we must know about the fabric so we say that it is a hygienic fabric because it does not absorb the dirt right it sheds off the dirt it will shed off the dirt right so we call it as hygienic fabric we can fabric we can call it like this and it can be easily washed reaction to the bleach if we say rayon's basic color is white right when basic color is white then it does not normally it is color and you can bleach it as we already talked about it then shrinkage if we say then rayon tend sorry typo mistake it is tend right rayon tend to shrink more than cotton there is shrinkage also in the rayon cotton se zyada shrinkage you may get in it right effect of heat in it if we say it has burning properties like cotton okay its strength will be lost 9 degree celsius and more temperature will be there okay, thank you. it will get char right. and become and temperature will reach 177 to 204 and unlike other synthetic fiber it do not melt that is why it is man made but it is not synthetic it is semi synthetic it is made up of cellulose that is naturally occurring so rayon do not melt it burns it get charred it get decomposed like the cotton fine so effect of heat is like this then effect of light we say so effect of light it has good resistant to sunlight but if we will put it more in the sunlight then definitely its strength will be lost and fabrics color will also be yellow down कलर भी इसका येलो हो जाएगा राइट एंड देन लास्ट दीज आर द लास्ट कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ इट इट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू द माइल्ड्यू ओके टेंडेंसी टू रेजिस्ट माइल्ड्यू रेजिस्टेंस इफ वी से सिमिलर टू कॉटन इट बिहेव्स सो यू कैन कीप इट इन द एरिया फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम इट विल इट्स प्रॉपर्टी विल नॉट गो ऑफ इजीली राइट सो वी से दैट इट इज ड्यूरेबल इट इज रेजिस्टेंट टू इंसेक्ट आल्सो सिमिलर टू द कॉटन because the moths so then they do not attract to the cellulose they do not like the cellulose right so it is it has resistance to the insect as well that is why it is more durable 
reactions to the alkalis if we say then bases does not attack rayon however concentrated solutions may degenerate it right isko disintegrate kar sakte hain reactions to the acid when we will say then definitely it will get disintegrated by the acids affinity for the dye it is hydrophilic it absorbs the dyes easily it loves dyes hydrophilic means jo apni water ki taraf attract hota hai right so this particular fabric it absorbs dyes very easily so it is one of the great property through which you can make different colored products out of the rayon right and resistance to perspiration if we say then it is fairly resistant towards the deterioration from um, uh, cotton right cotton mein agar bahut zyada perspiration ka problem aata hai to cotton discolor ho jata hai right and slowly it used to uh, 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 tear in those from those particular places but rayon behaves better than the cotton for the perspiration so it is all about the uh, process of making rayon then the characters of the rayon fabric right then in next class i will tell you about different grades of the rayon fabric what all different kind of rayon fabric we can make out of the original fabrics right so it is all about it if any questions are there we can take it up anyone out of the characteristic if you want to ask anything yes out of the characteristic if any questions are there yes or no okay clear that's great then if it is everything is clear to you then uh, we will close today's class here and in next class we will talk about different grades of rayon fabric right that we will study in another class in which we will talk about that hwm uh, rayon that we have talked here today right so thank you very much if any questions still after this if it will get uh, कुछ भी तुम्हारे दिमाग में आता है यू कैन आस्क एंड ओके जस्ट होल्ड ऑन आई एम मेकिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन डाउनलोडेबल यू कैन डाउनलोड इट ओके दिस डाउनलोड साइन इज देयर यू डाउनलोड इट एंड हाउ एवर द मटीरियल आई विल ऑल्सो पोस्ट बट पिक्चर्स एंड ऑल विल नॉट बी इन इट बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ द पिक्चर्स इट बिकम्स है इन ई आर पी वी कैन नॉट पुट इट सो यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम हेयर हो गया डाउनलोड इज डन या आर यू डन विद द डाउनलोड ओके डन फाइन दैट्स गुड टिल यू गो थ्रू इट इफ एनी क्वेश्चंस विल बी देयर देन इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल टेक इट अप ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच आई एम एंडिंग द क्लास मीटिंग इज एंडिंग Okay bye everyone take care